Okay, so we completed the latest M17 Vulcan build. Let's take a look at it. This one's for a good friend of mine. Selling a ton of these now. People are loving these things. So, we did all the fun stuff. Did the green red dot optics. And we did the <clears throat> uh, PRV delete. That's the PRV, the pressure relief valve delete. Pretty much you need to do that because if you turn up the pressure at all, really, you're going to blow that thing or it's going to leak. Uh, then we got the 13 cubic inch tank, got the butt stock, did the foregrip, did the Lotco aftermarket barrel. <clears throat> He's buying a bunch of magazines. Then he gets all the Duke Defense tear gas, uh, kinetic uh, glass breakers, which are a true 0.684 caliber and all that gibberish. And then... Uh, and then we did the detent. Did the uh, wicks and detents, of course, which should be done in every single build. If someone builds one of these and doesn't do detents, you, you really got to wonder if they know what they're doing because otherwise the rounds fall right out the barrel, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Luckily, Charles from Mercy Less Lethal taught us the scoop on all that. <clears throat> so, and then uh, we got the fl uh, fl uh, flush tactical light, which we love because it, it's flush right to the... Uh, rails which is really nice it doesn't stick way out but we do have other ones that are different designs so yeah it turned out to be a really nice build it's uh hitting at about um about 40 to 45 joules it's not cranked up crazy i mean that is pretty high i mean that's insane but um when we do the full uh velocity stack delete which removes all of this stuff so the whole regulator bypass that's the next step up <clears throat> then you're looking at about a 51 52 jewel uh, rifle regardless of the round you shoot because uh, that's it's a mathematical formula so it doesn't matter whether it's a 3.8 gram duke glass breaker or a 10 gram riot ball um, the 10 gram riot ball will just go slower but will achieve achieve the same jewels and there's my dogs ruining a video as always but I love them so life goes on <clears throat> but anyways yeah it turned out really cool um, if you want a Vulcan M17, hit me up, 253-777-1524. These things are insane. Best non-lethal rifle, in my opinion, under 1000 bucks. And you get everything, the buttstock, the tank, the mag, the aftermarket barrel, the optics, the tactical light, the foregrip. Um, and you get uh, 25 of the Duke tear gas rounds. You get... A 50 count of the Duke inert training rounds, which are perfect without a seam. And then you get, uh, what else? Uh, you get the, uh, the which ones? Kinetics. Oh yeah, no, that are, those are the kinetics, the glass breakers. And then, oh, and you also get the inert training rounds. So you get the glass breaker kinetics, which are 50 count, um, which are a 3.8 gram. Then you get the inert training rounds from Duke, which are a basically a talcum powder, you know, round, but it's a perfectly round without a seam. And then you get the uh, Duke uh, 25 count of the tear gas, which are used by the ATF, FBI, and everyone else in the world. So anyways, hit me up, 253-777-1524, impeccable defense. We build these all the time for people. And then, of course, we sell everything in the non-lethal space. Berna, Valken, Umarex, <clears throat> Grimberg, once they inventory, their inventory catches back up, we're a Grimberg dealer. And um, we're bringing on a new product called Salt Supply, <clears throat> which is going to be one of the hottest uh, launchers in the market, in my opinion, opinion, because it solves the problem of having a less expensive marker in that two to $300 range where Berna uh, quit selling the EP. So we will have a, a marker that sells, a, a launcher that sells probably at about uh, $249 for the launcher by itself with some kinetics and CO2. And then two ninety nine with uh, some Dukes thrown in, Duke Defense uh, tear gas. So hit me up, impeccable defense. Thank you.